Hi guys, I'm Tevi from Mondokon and here is next to me Mina Petrovic from Serbia. Uh, she's our dear guest, this con, and now I will ask some questions from her, so stay tuned. So, hi Mina. Hello. Welcome to Mondokon. Thank you. Very happy to be here. <laughs> This is your first Mondokon. Uh, actually, we had a chance to visit Mondokon last year, but there was so much rain that we barely made it to here, barely um, spent some time. We saw it was huge, we saw it was beautiful, but we, we got so, 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 so can wet. We just came here to buy some stuff and check it out and then quickly leave. But we loved it even, uh, even though the weather was a bit bad. But still, this is my second Mondokon, but I finally got to see it in its full glory. And how did you like it so far? Um, I'm speechless. Like this, this place is huge. Uh, the kids are all just so happy, hugging each other. The cosplayers are fabulous. The panels and the arts, uh, art spaces are f also fantastic. Um, I'm just so happy to see everything so huge and so full of geeky happiness. <laughs> so today. You had a workshop about how to create manga, if I right. Can yeah. you speak about it a little bit? What was well, I, I managed to put like two panels in one. Uh, I wanted to uh, go over some uh, basic information about how manga became to be, how manga is made, why it's in black and white, uh, how to draw a manga face in a certain way, um, how all the manga styles are basically the same. And then I did some examples which made the audience a little bit uh, uh, go <laughs> like, ooh, I didn't know that, you know? Like, And I, that's something I really like to see when audience is really responsive. And we chatted about um, the misconceptions when you like manga and how people uh, can fix some uh, problems when they draw manga so it was a constructive little workshop and you are so into manga you also built a manga school in Serbia can you speak about it how famous is it how it works how people can attend it? <laughs> well um, I don't know how famous it is but uh, we have a problem whenever we have a new enrollment because we have so many students we need to put them uh, twice in the same room so literally this year I had like around 60 new students to enroll and we also have a couple of hundred students from the past uh, that are still there in our workshop in our school so um, the kids just love manga so much and it's situated in Belgrade but it's not a problem if somebody wants to learn from these lessons because I have included them in my books and also I have included them for free on my YouTube channel so my personal goal is to spread the knowledge of manga to spread the uh, knowledge of manga to other people who want to learn how to draw to um, break all the misconceptions to make sure to prove to everybody including our teachers that manga is art and it's not based on tracing or something but it's based on set of rules just like regular art lessons. What advice would you share with beginner beginners who want to start drawing manga? Well, uh, manga is not that difficult. It's just uh, about doing the patterns that are shown. So if you just practice enough, this is just literally my advice to any beginner is consider it like a gym. If you want to get fit, you need to practice. It's the same with manga. If you want to learn how to draw it well, Make sure you put enough time and effort and anybody can draw. And I mean anybody. I had a, a student that was 60 years old who came here to, to came to my classes to learn how to draw manga so she can make comic books for her grandchildren. Really? And she so made amazing. one of the best manga my students ever made because she, she didn't know how to draw at all before. And then she suddenly wanted to learn how to draw manga for her grandchildren. And she learned from these templates, which are pretty uh, easy. And I'm so happy to, to be able to spread manga to beginners because it's not really that difficult or complicated. Uh -huh. And uh, how should we imagine this? This uh, school is uh, had at a university building or you, I don't know. Uh, in Belgrade, we have a community center mm -hmm. uh, or a youth center. And one of the offices has been transformed into a manga classroom. Uh, we have a huge TV where I uh, demonstrate all of the lessons, do live drawing. We have uh, slides for every lesson. We have like two semesters. Uh, each semester has um, uh, every weekend we have uh, a set of uh, lessons and homeworks and we even have our own workbooks so 
the students there are actually having their own real life manga school. It's amazing. And you are also drawing your own, own mangas. I, yeah. I hope to make one one day. I created manga drawing books, but mm -hmm. to draw manga you need to have a really big sponsor or a lot of time mm -hmm. uh, to finish it and of course a lot of qualified assistants. And luckily I have been training my assistants for the past uh, <laughs> well, a few years. So. <laughs> so literally the school that you made is for <laughs> training the students yes. for the manga. Artists yes, I wish to uh, create a school where people can actually draw and create something for the real-life job later on mm -hmm. so that knowledge can be used for something real for mm -hmm. something useful for them and including manga if they wish and it's interesting because before you were a fashion designer if I read yes. it right and why did you choose to go for manga and do your job for the geek <laughs> community uh, would you want to go back to be a fashion designer? No, a uh, fashion design is like one of the most brutal industries ever. Uh, the, the sole reason why I ever um, was tr uh, schooled for fashion designers is because I wanted to learn how to design fantasy clothing. I see. And uh, then I got disappointed because, oh no, this part of the dress can just fly around, like, you know, float. It has to be connected to something. <laughs> but yeah, my basic knowledge of fashion design was used then to... Um, use it in manga. Mm -hmm. I, I never really, I like being a fashion designer, I use it for cosplay for example. Mm -hmm. uh, I have some colleagues with which I make costumes and it's very fun. Mm -hmm. uh, those costumes are very highly detailed because I'm a perfectionist, but I actually like the, the illustration of the fashion job, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. I see. And uh, I saw that you have a YouTube channel where you have 130,000 followers now. It's yeah. so amazing big numbers. <laughs> Why did you decide to ra la launch a YouTube channel? Uh, well, I guess um, somebody told me, why don't you just start a YouTube channel? And a friend of mine uh, gave me his old uh, web camera. It was like like five years ago or oh six years ago and I was like yeah I saw some people were trying to do manga lessons uh, my school was already live there and um, I was like why don't I show them my lessons which are like easier to use and they're free and they can learn from them step by step you know and then I just started making lessons and people really really liked them mm -hmm. um, especially the simple set lessons like the how to draw the manga eye mm -hmm. and I made it all so simplified and so so, um, especially made for Westerners to understand immediately, I see. I see. because a Japanese person thinks on a different level, on a, in a different way. They even read in the opposite mm -hmm. way, and this is why some rules are different. And I had to uh, remake them for the Westerners. I see. And from the very beginning, you are running this channel in English. Yes, from the very beginning. Yes. I see. I see. And what uh, kind of videos you like to make the most? Uh, personally, I like making cosplay videos, but mm -hmm. since my channel is more of a anime and manga and um, tutorial, I uh, also like videos where I do challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, I had this blindfold challenge where I was drawing Pikachu with my eyes closed <laughs> and, and it was horrible, but people <laughs> liked it and I got to really laugh at everything. Uh, so, And also people like to ask me, uh, why don't you make a video where you react to your old manga drawings from your high school and I, I do that. Mm -hmm. So those are my favorite when my audience actually does something with me. And you are doing really lots of stuff. We have talked about it before too, that you are doing cosplay, yeah. manga, this manga school. You do a lot, you organize the convention actually in Serbia. Yes, with my friends. You are the yeah. art director there. Yeah. And how did you uh, have time for all of this stuff? At first it was horrible. <laughs> I literally had 30 minutes of free time and maybe six hours of sleep every day. Oh my God. It was horrible. Like I had to do so many sacrifices to my personal time. Uh -huh. But in the end, all of those things connected into a perfect circle. Mm -hmm. Because when I do manga, I can be at the same place where they do cosplay lessons and be with my cosplay friends and then we can all do a convention together mm -hmm. and you know, everything is connected in a circle. Mm -hmm. So now everything goes smoothly. Mm -hmm. But to build that up was a nightmare <laughs> for 10 <laughs> I years. I think it's, um, it's true, it's fruitful and it's, yes. it's really works fine yeah. for now and it's amazing what you have achieved. <laughs> and uh, one last question, who is your favorite? 
favorite manga artist that you look up to? Uh, well, my favorite manga illustrator is Yoshitaka Amano, uh, who mm -hmm. is the illustrator for Final Fantasy yes. series, <laughs> and uh, Yuki Kaori, who is uh, also one of my biggest influences, and Yana Toboso, mm -hmm. because those three are the main reason why my art style looks the way it is. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. And uh, what would be your future plans? What would you like um, to achieve next? Because now <laughs> you achieved a lot of things. Well, uh, yeah, I, I also achieved that. Uh, I opened the first cosplay photo studio in Serbia. And I actually launched a series of my very own designed uh, manga playing cards, mm -hmm. which is on Kickstarter right now. Mm -hmm. So if that succeeds, my next goal would be to make a manga out of it. Mm -hmm. So finally make a first big manga, mm -hmm. because that that's actually... <laughs> It requires a lot of time and work. I hope it will happen and I wish good luck for it. Thank you. And thank you for being here with us and sharing your knowledge with us. And thank hope you. you will come again next time to Mondokon too. So, hello guys, bye guys, and hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye.